system. Aircraft fuel system are divided into two parts, airframe fuel system and engine fuel system. In airframe fuel system, the supply of fuel the pipelines and valves installed on airframe structure part. In engine fuel system supply of fuel in the engine area, airframe and engine fuel system are separated by a shutoff valve. Shutoff valve is an electrically as well as manually controlled. It is used only in case of emergency to stop the fuel supply. Now come to the block diagram. Fuel are drawn from aircraft fuel tank and passes through the pipelines in the airframe. Fuel boost pump draws fuel from the aircraft tank and feed with some pressure to the main fuel filter. Main fuel filter filters the fuel and remove dust dirt particles. After that fuel passes through hydromechanical assembly. The purpose of hydromechanical assembly is to increase or decrease the amount of fuel supply. The fuel supply is controlled by a signal from electronic control unit. Electronic control unit receives signal from different sensors and motors and calculates the engine parameters. This per it gives signal to hydromechanical assembly. During start of engine starting fuel solenoid valve SFSV is in open position. Fuel passes through the number one path and through the nozzles. Fuels are sprayed into combustor. In combustor combustion took place when engine RPM reaches 12% of the maximum RPM. Then SFSV comes to close position and hydromechanical assembly starts the fuel passage from second path. Here again fuel is filtered by a lean fuel filter. Then fuel passes though over speed valve. The purpose of over speed valve is to reduces the fuel supply when engine compressor RPM exceeds than a particular set value. After fuel goes to fuel pressurizing valve, the purpose of fuel pressurizing valve is to supply the fuel only if a particular amount of pressure is built so that smooth passage of fuel to the combustor. After that fuel flow divider distributes the fuel in different area on combustor. Then fuel nozzle sprays fuel and combustion takes place. After combustion hot gases are produced, which have high kinetic energy, these hot gases strikes on turbine blade, and blade disc starts rotating and gives rotation to the output shaft and gearboxes. Thank you.